You know, all the other big blue cities out there, their mayors specifically, haven't really been doing that much. And I have a very, very, very old series that's on this channel, some of the worst mayors in America. And you know who's really picked up the mantle, okay? All of those other lazy mayors that are out there, like Ted Wheeler. I think I've seen something from Jenny Durkin of Seattle. Uh, somebody's doing something with that. I, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not in the loop in that one. And Eric Adams, he, he's too busy socializing with elites, elites to really do anything to affect his city right now, even though he should probably do something. But the person who is really taking, you know, what's going on very seriously right now, she's taking it personally okay is muriel bowser she is the mayor of washington oh, well you elect women and guess what you get okay somebody who is just really tired really tired of these goddamn illegal aliens wow imagine that huh i guess she wouldn't be running for mayor of el paso if she lived anywhere on the border because that's just it's just too much for her she wants to be a mayor of a very powerful city okay again she wants all of this equality shit right one of those classic feminist arguments except except for yeah she's not exactly calling for equality when it comes to garbage man or bricklayers national guard says no again to dc mayor's request for assistance with migrants oh yeah i can't believe that's actually still going on again you could just go down you could go down to the border okay you could just drive them yourself if you want if you have a problem with that or i don't know maybe you could just pressure your boss you know joe biden or whoever's pulling the strings just down the road from your office at town hall i don't think is that far from the white house or the capitol building go talk to somebody out there see if they want to do something about illegal immigration but yeah no they got other plans for all the illegals that are coming in anyways it is one thing to advocate for amnesty for illegal aliens and make your city a sanctuary city only when the orange man is in office though we don't we don't need that right now just get rid of all of these fucking mexicans that are here oh yeah racist bitch but don't worry it gets better when you are not inundated with migrants uh the way the southern border states are yeah no exactly who cares what's happening in these flyover states we live on the fucking coast god damn it and nobody's swimming across the atlantic ocean okay and landing on the nice bright shining shores of washington dc okay so yeah i thought she she thought that she had it pretty good but she didn't ah but since texas and other states began busing migrants to washington dc which is fucking hilarious and new york city they're spurging out at the same time except for i've only seen eric adams do it once if i seen it happen more i'd be reporting on that as well but again like i said he's out of office okay he's got the long weekend to plan for i'm sure he has a, a whole bunch of rsvps to reply to so just to brace for impact there i'm sure it'll be a wonderful weekend a wonderful long weekend for the wonderful people that are still left in washington or not washington in new york city which why the fuck are you still there oh this is, oh that is the case in dc where mayor muriel bowser has asked for and has been denied again for the national guard to be deployed to assist the city fox news reported for the second time the pentagon denied a request on monday okay uh, this past monday i guess it would have been by washington dc mayor muriel bowser to activate the national guard to assist in the thousands and thousands of migrants who have been arriving in the nation's capital in recent months hey man you don't need the national guard they're being transported by another state to your state okay you should probably talk to the fbi but they're already up to their nuts and just really tough situations right now so yeah bowser first asked for the national guard help last month when she would Oh, but it was rejected by the Pentagon on August 4th. She sent another letter, a very strongly worded letter. Okay, what do you call a black Karen? Uh, La Karen. Okay. Uh, requesting that 150 National Guard troops be deployed to help prevent a prolonged humanitarian crisis. Oh, it's a humanitarian crisis? Oh, only when it's in a blue city and it's not just affecting the rubes that are out there. Okay in our nation's capital because all the important people are here resulting from the daily arrival of migrants yeah huh. it's <laughs> god man could you imagine being a, or lacking this much self-awareness continuing to say okay oh we need all of these policies no per no human being is illegal we're a sanctuary city until it starts to happen in your backyard classic classic behavior 
Uh, the Defense Department Executive Secretary Kelly Bullen Holly or Bulliner Holly, whatever, wrote in a letter to Bowser on Monday that the DC National Guard is not trained to assist with migrants. Well, you can shoot them if you want, but it's not exactly good PR. And activation would lead to diminished readiness for the troops. The DCNG has no specific experience in or training. Uh, for this kind of mission or unique skills. Ah, I have a unique set of skills, but it has nothing to do with illegal immigrants. For providing facility management, feeding, sanitation, uh, you, you gotta feed them before you fuck them, I guess, or ground support. Secretary said to D.C. Mayor in a letter obtained by Fox News, approval for this request would also result in a substantial readiness impact to the D.C.N.G., she said, devoting the personnel or the facility for such an extended mission, extended mission, fucking Christ, okay, would force the cancellation or disruption of military training. Governor Greg Abbott of Texas sent around 7,000 migrants. That's it. That's like a slow Tuesday at border cities in Texas. Just saying. To D.C. and around 900 to New York City. Ooh, yeah, really kind of overloaded Washington. But hey, man, you got to make those policies hurt. You got to hit them right where they live. So I understand it. Before we began busing migrants to New York, it was Texas and Arizona that bore the brunt of all the chaos and problems that come with it. I don't know why New Mexico doesn't have that problem. Maybe because there's like literally nobody that lives there. N no slight against New Mexico or anything, but they also vote blue for whatever reason as well. Oh, oh, I, I, I see. Actually, it totally makes more sense now. Okay, they're not complaining because they're getting the results that they want in the same places like Texas and Arizona. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now the rest of America can understand exactly what is going on. Yeah, no, exactly. Hey, man, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? You're all about blank slate equalism, right? You should be able to handle this because you're a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. You should be able to take care of this stuff, man. Oh, except for when shit gets tough and then you call in the guys with the guns. Hmm, funny thing about that. The D.C. mayor responded on Twitter. <sighs> like a true strong independent woman and she definitely does not expect dc to be migrants final destination we are going to move forward with our planning to ensure that when uh, people are coming through dc they are on their way to their final destination what canada okay cool wonderful oh uh, we have a humane setting for them that's why you want to call in the fucking military you're such a bitch i wonder if she's also gonna force them before she educates them to get the jab because I, I can't believe this is still going on, okay? Like, even YouTube is updating their guidelines when it comes to the jab. At least according to Tim Pool, I seen a, a tweet ended up coming through the feed on whatever, but they have revised a couple of things, and I gotta take a look at it myself before I'm saying anything on it specifically, but it's in regards to vaccination and virus transmission, okay? They, they dropped a line out of there, okay? Hmm kind of reversing course on something that's been out there for so long so again this right here doesn't make any sense at all for a multitude of reasons okay if you know the demographics of the city and you know anything about the vaccines themselves or just i don't know punitive punishment really like that's all this kind of bores out to and who's actually calling for this we want uneducated kids it's like oh okay cool that's um that's awfully rude of you, but hey man, uh, you do you, and uh, we'll see you in court. DC Mayor says, no virtual learning, giving unvaccinated black teens zero alternative options. <sighs> yeah, that's a group of people most affected, and um, now the kids are heading back to school, I think this week. I'm not entirely sure when this is getting released or anything like that, but uh, unvaccinated kids are not allowed to come back into school. That That's the ruling of Bowser. What's her, what's her justification of that? I don't know. District of Columbia does not appear to have a contingency plan for unvaccinated students who are banned from attending schools in person this fall after the first 20 days, according to comments made by Washington, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser on Thursday. During a press conference, Bowser, a Democrat, what? I didn't know that. I admitted that there are no alternative options, including virtual learning. Okay, so that infrastructure that was set up, used and abused over the past couple of years, now all of a sudden that's just going to be gone because you don't care about individual choice? Oh, okay. For students who cannot attend school due to the district's vaccine mandate, why have you 
not seeing the numbers for kids. Okay, meaning unvaccinated children will effectively be left without an education. Again, you need more justification to homeschool your own kids or, you know, seek alternative methods or not live in blue city shitholes. Just saying. Or over 40% of blacks aged 12 through 17 are not vaccinated, according to city data. And I'm pretty sure the way that the demographics of Washington, D.C. break down it's uh, actually a majority minority city. I think it might be like an Atlanta situation where it's uh, about 51, 52% black, but I'm not entirely sure. I know that it's, uh, it has nothing to do with the influx of, you know, migrants being bussed up to their city, but I know that they're a majority minority if you take everybody in encapsulation. So it's just funny why she's being so racist out there singling out those poor black kids. Hey man, you hate to see it. Uh, the Daily Signal asked Bowser about her plan uh, was for unvaccinated students. Washington, D.C. public schools start on Monday. Oh, so they're already opened. Great, wonderful, fantastic. How long before a court case ends up getting in front of a judge when it comes to this stuff? And kicking these mandates down the curb because what's her justification for this I, I i don't want it i don't want any unvaccinated kids in school that's ridiculous bowser responded they can go to school on monday but they need to get their vaccinations and their families will be alerted as to the dates i've seen the old arguments just hobbled out over and over again Ugh, schools have been requiring vaccines for decades at this point yeah, for dangerous diseases. What's your justification this time around? Oh, uh, you just need to have it. Do you understand how fucking brain dead that argument is? Just do it because the government says so. Government doesn't lie to you. Hell, the science continues to change. Oh, okay, cool. If the vaccine worked as advertised before, or even as it works now, as something that is supposed to um, get rid of symptoms or prevent, I don't know, like really bad cases, even though, you know, most people have either had it, had the jab, had both, had all of them. I don't even know what the fuck the different breakdowns are at this point. But you take a look at the way that this virus has always manifested in children. What's the point of them getting the jab? Just because the FDA says so? Well, the FDA, also another institution that's not known for lying or, you know, what? Hey, using this uh, jab as a political weapon... Just saying. Students get 20 days to pr or to provide their vaccination certificate. The Office of the State Super Nintendo of Education for DC announced that all students must have up-to-date immunization certificates on file with the school within the first 20 days or they will not be allowed to attend school or school activities until the immunization certificate or certification is secured by the school. And don't worry, if you don't have your papers there, you can just go and get educated with the other kids in that nice little shed behind the school it's so nice it's so nice that democrats are going back to their segregationist roots you just love to see it uh the office continued that if the student does not come into compliance a 20-day school period the school must remove the student oh okay from school until the immunization certificate is secured by the school Oh, great. When pressed on whether or not unvaccinated children would have to use virtual learning for their education, uh, they were not compliant with the vaccine mandate. Bowser said, no, no, nobody learns on computers anymore. We actually removed all of the computers from the school because of misinformation. We're not offering remote learning to children, so it's comply or goodbye. Remember, guys, it's a choice. And families will need to comply with what's necessary to come to school. Again, <laughs> uh, she's so racist. Um, updated data from the government's vaccine numbers website show that 47% of black children in the district aged 12 to 15 have not completed their primary vaccination series necessary to go back to school in person. Among black teens aged 16 to 17, 42% are unvaccinated. An August 25th press release from the District of Columbia Public Schools website reads, a coronavirus immunization, immunization, why do you continue to use that word? It's not anymore. Oh, right, are we using the bastardized uh, definition of what it means to be vaccinated? Interesting. Of uh, school students and early childhood workers amendment act of 2021. 
school, which the council passed in 2021, requires students age 12 and older to be vaccinated against the COOF in order to attend schools. I wonder if that act has been challenged in law yet. If not, given enough time, the mandate also applies to students attending DC's private schools. I don't know how the government has jurisdiction over that. That one fucking throws me for a loop. I'm sure it'll, I'm sure that'll stand up in court, okay? And it definitely won't immediately get uh, enjoined immediately. The addition to the vaccination requirement, the release states that all students and staff will need to provide proof of negative tests. Okay, cool. So you need your vaccine and then you need to have a negative test on top of that. I thought vaccines worked. Anyways, with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.